with the Gmanism Total Laundry channel. Today we will go through how to start a computer directly from motherboard and uh, basically when you don't have uh, connected the buttons and the LEDs to your front panel but you need to start your computer from the motherboard to test out some stuff. And if your motherboard does not follow the standard, if it's some weird motherboard, um, don't just chance and connect two pins because I did and this old Windows XP motherboard is now fried. So only do this if your motherboard does follow the standard. So, so this is a full computer, it's just that all the components are outside the computer. All right, so here we have your motherboard. This is a smaller uh, model of a motherboard. Most are larger, but uh, these are also quite common these days. And of course, and everything is installed. The power, which is here, it is indeed on, which you can see by the little LED light that shines there. Now you need to find the little thing, the little connector that says F panel. Here you can see it right in the middle of the screen. It says F panel. Now this is your front panel uh, connector. So we can even zoom in here. And uh, you want to make sure it says F panel. And you can also recognize it easily uh, because the F panel misses, you can see uh, it misses a pin in the upper corner, which also makes it easy for you to know where to start, where to connect. So the front panel's pins are connected this way, like this way and this way. They never connect like uh, over this little bridge here, to my knowledge at least. Um, there are always some weird models anywhere, so... But anyways, what you do is you take a conductive instrument like a regular flat screwdriver and you see this side where we actually have some missing uh, a missing pin just beside of that those two pins just beside on that on this side if you connect these two tap it slightly here we have it the computer is now started isn't that beautiful so that's how to start a computer and if you read closely here on most computers you can even see some really tiny it says power it says reset and it says um yeah lead and hdd and stuff like that uh, and uh even if it doesn't say, that's your cue. The side with a missing pin on that side, you'll just uh, da da. Oh, we'll need to go to boot menu. Well, this is not uh, this tutorial, but uh, just to make it extra extra clear, I'll show you one more time and shut the computer down. So here we have it. These two. There we have it. And uh, yeah, just tap it there and you'll be fine. Apparently, it restarts. There we go. So what I apparently I tapped it a little too long, so it restarted the computer instead. Uh, now it shut down the second time I tapped it. So, but when it's off, of course, you want to go to the uh, that one and shut it off properly so it won't start up and stuff because you don't want to uh, poke around on your computer too much when you have live power. Anyways, I'll see what I can do with this weird little computer build. It's a quite ancient graphics card and some interesting, interesting stuff indeed. Uh, weird mix. I hopefully will make some kind of uh, television computer of this to just connect to a big screen play movies on probably. Oh well, uh, thanks a lot for watching. This is Jimodism Total Notary Channel, signing out.